Hi, I'm Daniel Zangle with PRP Labs here with Don Lipscomb, and we're going to be talking about research that used PRP to help patients with acne scars. Uh, so I'm sure we're all familiar with acne. It affects about 80% of the adolescent population, and a lot of people later in life uh, will have scarring from this. And these researchers were trying to see how PRP could help those patients. So Don, can you explain a bit about this study? Absolutely. So the study consisted of 30 patients. There were 18 females, 12 males. Um, and these patients all had very severe um, atrophic acne scars, which just basically means that uh, they're very deep in the skin. Um, so the first group received something called split face therapy. And during this, uh, one cheek was treated uh, with FCL, and then the other uh, received an intradermal injection of PRP. And FCL is a fractional carbon dioxide laser. So that's like the laser mm -hmm. commonly used for skin resurfacing. Exactly, so this is a pretty common treatment already. Um, but, but like I said, the authors just wanted to check to see how those in combination and comparatively would work. Right, so they're doing fractional carbon dioxide laser on both sides. Uh -huh. And then this is group one, and one side got the PRP one side got the PRP injection, and then the other half. And then the other one was treated uh, with just a saline injection right. after FCL. So basically, it was PRP uh, saline, but mm. both sides received right. FCL. Right. Um, so in the second group, they also received split face therapy. Um, both cheeks were treated with FCL, mm -hmm. but one cheek. Uh, received an intradermal injection, and then the other received a topical application right. of PRP. So uh, the first group was comparing PRP to a control, and then the second group was comparing PRP uh, it, uh, injection versus PRP topical. Right, got it. And the, the reason they were doing this is there haven't been any studies yet that have shown that topical is just as effective as mm -hmm. an injection. And this might be a slightly less painful uh, uh, procedure because right. uh, you just put it on your face, sort of yeah. like a gel solution. Yeah, and that's something I, I hear about out in the field. You know, there are a lot of clinics that are doing PRP uh, facial work or even uh, for some of the hair growth procedures. And there's kind of a divide you'll see among clinicians. Some are doing these interdermal injections. Some are getting the platelet rich plasma and just sort of like rubbing it on the surface yeah. of the skin. Um, so it's very interesting that they compare those in this study. So um, the groups actually received three treatment sessions at monthly intervals, and they were evaluated three months after the last treatment session, which is a total of six months. Um, so overall, the, the, uh, the FCL combined with PRP whether or not it was topical or injected favored almost three times better than just FCL by itself. Right, and, and again, this was a blinded study because the people who were assessing the improvements, these were dermatologists who just saw before and after photographs, and they didn't actually know who got the interdermal PRP, who got the saline injection, the, you know, the placebo, and who got the topical PRP. And as you mentioned, there were statistically significant improvements in the patients that received any type of PRP, mm -hmm. and then did it, was there any difference between the two, the interdermal and the topical PRP? Um, not a statistically significant difference. It okay. could have been, it could have come down to chance or right, external yeah. variables. Right, okay. Um, so the, actually one other really cool outcome came of this study. Um, so uh, people with darker pigmentation, the PRP actually uh, helped uh, improve the appearance of the scars after FCL without leading to hyperpigmentation of the skin. Okay, and is that a common thing that happens, the hyperpigmentation yes, from it is, the actually. laser? It is actually. With okay. People with darker skin, these areas tend to become hyperpigmented, Got so it. they become much darker than the surrounding area. Okay. And so uh, the authors think that maybe this was because PRP accelerates repair of the basement membrane, which is just like the lower layer of skin. Yeah. So it heals up and then uh, extra melanin can't be bubbling up to the surface, basically. Wow. And uh, it's thought that one of the growth factors, uh, TGF-beta, actually found in PRP, is what accelerates the healing of the basement membrane. Fascinating, so something they weren't even trying to, just sort of like a casual observation that they noticed is that the groups that received the PRP compared to the control group had less hyperpigmentation. Exactly. Okay, excellent. So yeah, I think this is a great study, especially for clinics that are already doing 
uh, laser skin resurfacing, as we've seen in the study, adding PRP, whether topically or interderm uh, interdermally, mm -hmm. uh, can improve outcomes. Exactly. All right, Don, thank you so much. And uh, we'll have another video on PRP coming up in just a few minutes, so stay tuned.